。来看国际新闻，澳洲拟定的新闻媒体议价法案有望在这个月底之前完成立法程序，以强制谷歌和面子书等科技巨擘向澳洲媒体支付年费。面子书强烈抗议，并祭出反制裁行动，全面封杀澳洲媒体和用户分享或查看新闻内容。In respect to Facebook's actions today, Facebook was wrong. Facebook's actions were unnecessary. They were heavy-handed, and they will damage its reputation here in Australia. 涉美龙头杠上袋鼠国，网络战正式开打。面子书宣布，从十八号开始，全面封锁澳洲新闻媒体和用户观看或分享新闻链接，国际用户也无法阅览或分享来自澳洲新闻媒体专业的文章，以回敬政府推动的新法案。对面子书而言，要从新闻讯息捞取收益根本是微乎其微。相反的，面子书却为澳洲新闻机构提供了大约五十一亿次的。免费引荐价值达到四点零七亿澳元，因此面子书无法接受澳洲政府要科技公司付给新闻机构的举动。尽管如此，澳洲政府的立场依旧强硬，新法案的落实志在必行。The principle is very clear. We,、uh, Google and Facebook are important parts of the digital ecosystem in Australia. They're important parts of the economy. We've made it clear. Uh, that we want them to continue operating here, but we've also made it clear that if you do business in Australia, you need to comply with the law of land. Australia. 比起硬碰硬的面子书，谷歌则选择蓝海战略。目前已和澳洲三大主流媒体达成收入分享协议，允许用户和出版商在谷歌服务器上显示新闻链接，但合约条款内容和一年的付费金额完全保密。马新社电视综合报道。